When I have to think about the creative process, I think about which ways I'm going to use to tell a story and which mediums are going to fit best. My creative process by now after studying is a lot about research. Yeah, the first thing that comes to mind is sitting down and just sort of like brainstorming ideas and then collecting all the people who we know are good at like all the other aspects that we're missing and then you create this sort of like like a pool, sort of like a team and then from there you move forward. The creative process is a uh, um, painful and rewarding <laughs> experience. <laughs> Yeah, talking about our creative approach or our educational approach, um, we found out that we want to we want people to explore, to experiment with certain media to find out where the actual place in the professional field is in the end. For example, the communication designers are very generalistic. Um, sometimes they find out uh, that they want to work in film, but sometimes they find out that they do they like to do photography or they are graphic designers as they plan to be. So what we do is here we bring young people together from different kinds of programs. So communication designer works together with developers, the UX designer works together with illustrators. This is a very uh, interesting process that we do here in our school. What is it about that speaks to me in film? Like you said already, the working together, working in a team, and come up with uh, ideas and make them happen. It's um, about combining all the stuff that I love. It's about the geeky technical stuff and the creative. What I like most about photography um, is for me, if I feel like the subject is being portrayed in the actual way it is. It's like a dopamine rush. It's like when you look at it and you're actually happy with what you made, you're like, wow, like, I love this, this is great, and I'm like really proud of myself. In illustration, it's about individuality because you see the thoughts of a person, the style and how they are working, and you can use it to, yeah, to, to tell stories and in many different ways. What I really love about teaching here um, is that we work within smaller groups, and that is incredibly enriching. My philosophical approach to teaching is to be a partner and a, a guide. Es gibt zwei Punkte, die mir ganz besonders wichtig sind. Das ist Aktivität und Offenheit. Ich selber bin sehr aktiv und sehr offen meinen Studierenden gegenüber. The, the students and the teachers and the professors they work together like little uh, development teams. How have I developed during my time in SRH? I think I've changed a lot and I think I've grown a lot. And it's probably 50% the school and 50% just like living in a big city as a foreigner. I learned a lot about how to take criticism as a good thing, to learn and to develop yourself. I think criticism and uh, becoming feedback from people is very important. I learned, actually I learned lots of new things to me, like especially film theory. And beside that, I also learned more about the lighting. And now I know how to do it by myself, not just talk to the cinematographer and wait for them. You're gonna learn a lot about front end, back end, and you're gonna learn about communication science. It's not just designing some websites. If you have a sense of creativity, if you, if you like digital art, and if you're not afraid regarding coding, programming and logic, then you should think about studying something like web development in our school. Berlin is a super standort, um here photography to study. It's very international, very open, very diverse. I think illustration is an incredibly rewarding job. It's about finding out where you're where within the field of illustration you're good at. So you should come and find out. I, th I believe that people come to us because they somehow know intuitively, unconscious or consciously who we are and feel that this is the home of my creative process.